television, radio, intercontinental communications, the sending of SOS messages from sea and from air, well, we take it all as part of our normal communications. But I wonder do people realize, and particularly the people of Ulster realize, that it all started right here on this spot, about a mile outside Ballycastle on the North Antrim coast. At the turn of the century, inventor Marconi came here with a team of engineers. Locals still talk of the group of quiet, thoughtful men who went about with a mysterious air and who had a locked room in one of the local hotels containing strange wire devices. Marconi was about to make his first attempt at sending a wireless message from land to land across the sea. Now, some years ago, the County Antrim Council erected this plaque on the cottage to commemorate the occasion, but note the date, 1905. The memory of some of the older locals claims it was in 1899 that Marconi was here, a difference of six years. Another tradition has it that it was not at this cottage at all he had his aerial, but further along the coast. They say that the iron ore-laden rocks behind the cottage frustrated the experiments. Various points along the coast, about four miles, including this cottage, have been suggested as the land link for the experiments. But a strip of copper wire running down the rock face here at Kimbane Head suggests strong evidence that this was the mainland contact with Rathlin. Well, there it is. For one glorious moment, Ulster stepped right into history. Now, we are wonderful about remembering the dates, the places, and the times of events here in Ulster. But what a tragedy that one of the greatest contributions that we have made to the benefit of mankind here in Ulster has been forgotten, both the time and the place.